So we're in Broxbourne in Hertfordshire today, and we're, which is actually where I was uh, brought up. And uh, so many a time getting the train into London from Broxbourne, um, and obviously we've got the River Lee, which runs all the way out through Hertfordshire uh, from the River Thames. So um, people cycle up here, canoe, what have you. Um, beautiful part of Lee Valley. Um, if you've never looked at it, uh, take a look at it. Um, we're looking at property today. Um, in Broxbourne, which is minutes walk from the station, We've got the station here, which gets you directly into Liverpool Street in about 35 40 minutes, um, depending on which train you catch. There are fast trains and uh, slower trains that stop uh, numerous stations along the way. But also, you get out to Hartford, which is the county town, uh, which has got some fantastic pubs, bars, restaurants, um, and le the leisure facilities, and then out to Cambridge. And so the property we're going to see is a, a beautiful conversion and uh, it's in an ideal location because it's minutes walk from the station. It's also surrounded by shops, bars, restaurants uh, and other leisure facilities um, and minutes from the, the Lee Valley and the uh, River Lee itself. Let's go and have a look. So we're in High Road Broxbourne. The property is set over four floors and I'm going to show you through each floor and each room in the, in, in the property. The property itself is Grade 2 listed and it's a beautiful building. When you look at it from the outside it's really handsome. It sits right at the top of the station road that runs all the way down to Broxmoor Station where we just were and you can see obviously the distance on a map is probably about a five minute walk. Very, very short distance. It's surrounded by shops, bars and restaurants as well, so there's lots to do in the area. Um, we'll have a wander through. What initially hits you as you first walk into this amazing property is the staircase. Now, I love everything old and, and, and when I walked in and saw this, and just the, the sheer size of it um, and, and the craftsmanship, I just, I'm wowed by it. And it's, it's gotta be the main feature in this property. The other thing I really love about this place is the amount of storage that there is. There are little nooks and crannies all over the place that have got cupboards in, so you can hide everything away. And as you'll see, um, the current owners keep it immaculate. Let's go and have a little look around. So we're now in the kitchen, and it's an excellent style kitchen because it's right next door to the dining room. So it, when you're preparing food, taking it in for your dinner parties, you've not got very far to go. The vaulted ceiling works really well in here, and you've got the exposed timbers and the exposed brickwork above us, above our head. You've got the strip wood floorboards as well, and an old style uh, radiator, which really sets the room off nicely. A sash window bringing in lots of light as well, so um, a really nice room this. The Shake style kitchen has a granite work surfaces, inset bowl with mixer tap, you've got a dishwasher, a washer dryer, a fridge freezer, hot point oven and grill, and also a five ring gas hob by Neff with a Neff extractor fan. Um, so it's got all, all the bells and whistles that a, a good kitchen would need. Uh, if you like cooking, um, there's some great space to sort of spread yourself out and really enjoy what you're doing when you're making food for your friends and family. What I'll do is I'll take you through to the dining room now. So this is the dining room and as I said it was next to the kitchen so really flows this house, lovely. And, and the, the best thing about having a separate dining room, and I know not everybody has people over for dinner all the time is, but it's also just another room that you can sit and chill and relax. I mean, it's, this has got a dual aspect, so there's lots of light in here. Um, I mean, the other thing I love about these old buildings, and I don't know whether you'll be able to hear this, but that's a solid wall. So behind all these walls here is probably about that much worth of brick um, and skim and lining. So um, very, very noise insulated and obviously keeps the warmth in as well. There's a lovely feature fireplace in the corner here and um, it's a nice size room, nice size ceilings as well. Um, and then the living room is just off the end of here, so we're going to take you around to show you that as well. So the living room for this property is this beautiful room with lots of natural light, three big sash windows which flood the room with light, um, which are south and east facing, strip wood flooring, which is a feature throughout the property, and also these lovely high ceilings with the corniceing, um, obviously showing its age. It works really well with a, a lovely fireplace here, which I think, and I haven't checked, but I would have thought you could probably get swept and have a lovely roaring fire in the, in the winters. The space is, is fantastic. I mean, I, I'd quite happily sit here and put my feet up, watch TV on a Sunday afternoon, relax, read the papers, um, and just chill. And it's uh, a really nice environment to be sitting in, I think. 
So actually, selling this property is a real pleasure for me because actually I know the guys that are selling it and um, we've known each other for a very long time and I thoroughly enjoy selling property for, for people that I know and that I get on with. Um, my first experience of that was um, actually not too far from here, probably about a two minute walk up the road and I sold uh, a cottage to one of my best friends about 10 years ago I think it must have been. Um, I wasn't even involved in really the sale at that point. And, and didn't make any commission out of it, but just knowing that I'd done a good job was fantastic. This area here, I just had to stop and, and take a video of because this staircase is just so beautiful. And then you've got a spiral staircase as well going up to another level. Uh, I love all the different angles in this area. In this area. I love big mirrors, obviously. Um, I'm a bit vain and I love exposed brickwork. So I just wanted to stop and second while we were walking through the, the property and just show you this, this section. So second bedroom, lovely size, you've got strip wood flooring, you've got this beautiful featured brick fireplace, south facing window which brings in lots of light, and then fitted wardrobes giving you lots of storage. So now we're up into the eaves of the building, and, and what I love about this is the vaulted ceiling heights and also the exposed timbers. The bathroom suite itself is beautiful. You have a huge roll top bath with mixer taps and a window facing out so you can just sit and chill and stare out the window. You've also got the vanity unit with drawers underneath and um, a lovely vanity uh, mirror with the, the lights around it. It'll make you feel like a film star. Put your photo ahead. So we're now in the master bedroom. Again, you've got all these lovely beams and high scenes. I mean, I'd normally struggle in properties that have got uh, vaulted ceilings and, and eaves space and stuff like that, but this I don't. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. And, you know, you can imagine 100, 200 years ago, probably even longer than that, um, this room, and it just has a, such a wonderful feel to it. You've got another window looking out onto the high street. You've got two sets of double doors uh, with loads of storage and you've also got an ensuite shower room as well and the use of space in here is fantastic because they've got the TV up on almost on the ceiling if you like but at an angle so you lying in bed it'd be just lovely waking up in the morning and chilling and, and, and watching the news and whatever so yeah really nice space this so at the very top of this building is a lovely little hideaway office or uh, I guess it could be a, a, a bedroom if you wanted to put a double bed in here quite easily. You've got Eve's storage um, and a bit of light coming through as well and you've still got these lovely beams and everything all through the property and the strip wood flooring. Personally I would love a little office like this to myself where I could just hide away and get on with some work. Um, the property itself is just beautiful and I'm so pleased that we're offering it for sale. Um, if you are looking for something of this ilk, uh, a two or three bedroom property in Broxbourne that's close to the station, um, you've got obviously Broxbourne School around the corner, uh, lots of shop, shops and everything in, in close proximity. If that's the sort of thing you're after and you want character, you've got to come and have a look at this because this is just beautiful. Um, you could literally live in here, move in here tomorrow and, and live and if there was things you didn't want, you know, you could change it as you went but it, there is literally nothing to do. They've kept it immaculate, um, which is great for me because I love showing properties that I don't you know, have to make any apologies for. You can just come in and see how beautiful they are. Um, so I'm going to crack on with some work and actually you can find this property on our website, uh, so if you're looking to view or uh, you, you want to know a bit more information, then always give us a call or drop us an email and we'd be delighted to help you.